Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. We'll get started here in just a second. Pray that your day has been going well. Griffin. Good evening, good evening, ain't it? <laughs> good evening. We 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 won't be long. We won't be long today either. Just a little bit more. Uh, as always, praying that your day has been going well. Uh, enjoying, as always, this Texas weather, which we had a taste of fall. Now we back to summer. And we're going to go straight to winter after this. So that's typically how it goes. <laughs> But in any event, I pray that you had a good day.
if you have any prayer requests, please drop them uh, in, the, in the chat there. Uh, we praying today, y'all. We praying today. If you have any prayer requests, please drop them in the chat. I have a list already, but I want to, before we get to prayer tonight, I want to see um, if there is any other prayer requests so that I can put you on the list. Um, <clears throat> I got you. I got you, Brother Floyd. <clears throat> Prayer is uh, one of those things that uh, sometimes you know that you have to pray. Sometimes you don't know what to pray. But you know that uh, you do need to pray. Uh, it is one of the things, we talked about this this past Sunday, it is one of the things that allows us to have uh, a communication with him. But most importantly, it's one of those things that is required of us that we are always pray. Pray without ceasing. We are always be calling on the name of the Lord. And when I say calling on him, I'm not necessarily saying that we ought to be asking for something. Sometimes calling on him means I'm calling on you just to tell you thank you for the goodness and the great, great things that you've done for us. Uh, but I, but you can also, you can call on him when you do have a need because he is a need hearing, need answering God. And we are uh, ought to be delighted in the fact that the God that we serve hears us when we cry. Mama, I already got you on the list. Amen. Uh, we, he, he hears us when we pray. So uh, that's what I want to do tonight. Uh, there's been quite a bit of things that have been taking place over the last few days, few weeks for some people. Uh, so I just wanted to take an opportunity to take the time to stop and pray. Uh, I pray all the time, uh, but I know sometimes people don't always pray all the time. This may be an opportunity right now for you to be able to uh, to pray and fervently talk to talk to the Lord. So uh, I want to give it just a little, a couple of more minutes. Uh, but if you have any prayer requests. Uh, please, please drop them in, in the chat there and uh, we'll get you added to the list. Um, <clears throat> God has been good. God has been kind. He has been merciful. Uh, God is a keeper. God is a healer. God can do anything but fail. So to be able to understand all of those things, I got you, Miss Chrissy, I got you. To be able to understand all of those things, it ought to encourage you, as the older back in the day saying is, have a little talk with Jesus, tell him all about your trouble. It ought to encourage you to want to uh, talk to him. I got you, Sister Scott. I got Sister Sister Rosie Hayes and family. Got you, got you down. <clears throat> um, but when you talk to him, you ought to be able to talk to him through faith. You ought to be able to lift him up and uh, through faith, believing that what I am asking God to do, my faith, my hope, my trust in God, reassures me that whatever request that I'm being made uh, uh, unto him, that he's able to do it. That's when our faith kicks in. Our faith should let us know, let us know that uh, when I call on him, no matter how big, small the problem may be, when I call on him, he's able to take it. He's able to mold it, even if it's not the answer that I'm looking for. He's still giving me the guidance and the direction that I need. Because oftentimes when we pray, 
we we praying for something. We're asking God for something. We 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 hoping that God give us something. But sometimes the things that we asking for may not necessarily be the thing that God wants to bless you with. May not be your season to be blessed with it. Or He may have something even better bigger and greater in store for us. So we have to understand when we go to God and we ask God and we pray to God for the things and the desires of our heart, be open to the, the response that you may receive. You Somebody, somebody prays for patience and you think, oh, I, I'm just going to get the patience. It's just going to show up. The truth of the matter is, your patience can't be developed unless you be unless you're put in a place to where you have to be patient. So uh, 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 when you're praying and you're asking God for stuff, hey God, I want you to bless me with this, but prepare me so that when I do receive it, that I'm ready to receive that that you have for me. I'm ready to endure the things that you would have me to do. So uh, that that is what we're gonna do tonight. We're going to uh, we're gonna pray one for another pray as i pray for yourself but there are some names that we want to recognize and we want to pray for um mother barry we continuing to pray for mother barry she is a testament over these last few days of just what prayer can do uh I, i've been watching i've been seeing thankful to uh, Brother Barry, Herbert Barry, who keeps us in the loop and keeps us posted on the progression that Mother Barry is making. She's in rehab now, but we can see her getting stronger. We can see her up and moving about. That is a praise and a testament to what prayer can do, but we're not through. We're still praying for Mother Barry, but in the midst of the same family, Brother John Barry, Reverend John Barry, we are lifting him up as well. The family has requested that we pray, that we call on the name of the Lord and let the Lord intervene and let the Lord healing hand, its restoration fall on Reverend John Barry. And we believe that. We trust God that God can again do anything but fail. So we lift him up. We're still praying for uh, Sister Wisner, the uh, sister uh, of Brother Ken. She's a member of our church. We praise God for her, and we are lifting her up. Uh, uh, I believe, Sister Greta, you all hear me, they, they, uh, they said she's at home. Uh, she's at home recovering, so we bless the Lord for that, and we're still praying for her for a recovery. There are some others uh, who, who we get information about. We're praying for Sister Danae Christopher, praying for uh, Mother Crabtree, uh, praying for our Brother Junior Logan. Uh, we, that, 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 that encompass family there. We're praying that God's healing hand move in such a miraculous way that uh, when it's all said and done, God can get the glory, God can get the praise and the shout. So we're lifting names up. We continue with... Uh, uh, Brother Jimmy Coleman, we're praying for him. Uh, he's been at our church recently. He, he's been coming. He's joined. He's he, he's there faithfully. But unfortunately, he recently had a car accident. Uh, he is recovering. Thank the Lord for that. But we're praying for him and his recovery that uh, uh, that he he can bounce back and, and get back to the things that uh, God would have him to do. So, Brother Jimmy Coleman, we're praying for him. Uh, then I want to pray. Uh, <laughs> I want to pray for our musician, Brother Stanley Glenn. I want to pray for him. He had to take a visit to the ER. He was uh, 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 he was out. He was he he was riding his bicycle and had an accident. But we are praying for him. Uh, he has uh, no broken bones, anything like that. But he is in recovery. So we thank God for for his for for keeping him. But uh, praying for Brother Glenn. Uh, Brother Stanley Glenn, I'm praying. Mama, I told you I had you on the list praying for my mama. Uh, mama has my mama has to have surgery on Monday. Is that Monday, Tuesday, the 23rd next week? Uh, you have to, she's having surgery, but God is already at the operating room waiting on her with outstretched hands saying, I got you. And I'm praying and I know that God is going to keep my mama and keep her covered in her next procedure that's coming. I'm praying for my family. 
praying for my household, praying that God moves in this house and continue to bless like we know that he can continue to block anything that Satan may be trying to do. Praying that God just continues to pour out unto us like he continuously does. And I thank God for 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 all that he does. And then I want to stop and I want to pray. Uh, we want to pray. I want to pray. I want to lift up uh, our first lady. I, I want to lift her up in prayer uh, because her job is a difficult job. Uh, it's a difficult job already being uh, a first lady, married, children, and all of those things. But she has a unique gift, a unique gift that she does at her at her job as far as counseling and making sure the well-being of of the of the kids and 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 the student and the and the faculty staff mostly the the faculty and staff. But she has a unique job to where she makes sure other people are okay. So she does a lot of pouring out of herself. She does a lot of going to different campuses, making sure people are okay. So I want to lift her up that God continues to pour into her so she can continue to pour into other people and bless her in, in, in physical strength. Uh, the Greater El Bethel Church family as a whole, I pray for all of y'all. I pray for the Greater El Bethel ministry that God moves in that place uh, and allows for increase in uh, spiritual walk increase in just uh, a joy in knowing just and learning just who God is and just continue continuing to be able to pour into people so that they can understand who God is so I'm praying for our church family and the ministry in that aspect that we may continue to grow there praying for brother Floyd uh, he, he's all he's requested prayer praying for him Praying for Miss Chrissy, uh, lifting her up just the same. Praying for the Rosie Hayes and Sister Rosie Hayes and family. Uh, God is in control. God can do anything but fail. You know what? I'm going to add to this list. He didn't put it on here, but I'm going to add to this list. Brother Griffin, I'm going to put you down on here as well. Uh, God is able to answer all of our prayers. So all of the names that were called, even the names that I do not have, I see you, uh, I see you cuz, I got you down. I'm putting all of y'all down, the McCoy and, uh, and family, I got you, putting you down as well for prayer. Um, there's nothing like, <laughs> nothing like taking it to the Lord. Yeah, we, we take it to everybody else. We talk to our friends, we talk to our family, we, the last person we want to talk to is the Lord. Tonight, we putting him first. Tonight, whatever it is that's on your heart, put it on your heart and your mind, and we're going to talk to him, and we're going to turn it over to him and let go and let God have his way. All right, let's pray. Let's pray. Sister Smith, I got you down. Yes, ma'am, I got you. Let's pray. God, our Father, how we thank you for just an opportunity, oh God, to be able to experience life thus far throughout this day. Thank you for touching us with your finger of love one more time and giving us another chance, another opportunity, God, to get a little stronger and a little closer to you. Father, we pause right now just to say forgive us for all of our unforgiving sins. God, pray we pray that you will clean our hearts, our minds, our, and give us clarity, oh God, that we can be in total oneness and communion with you while we're talking to you. But Father, Thank you. Thank you for all of the things you always continue to do, even though we're so undeserving. God, we thank you for every provision that was made. We thank you for every for, for every step that you ordered in our lives, oh God. Even when we took some missteps, God, we're thankful that you saw fit enough and love enough for us to say, I'm still going to be walking with you. Father, thank you just for food on our table, roof over our head, clothing on our backs, the reasonable portion of health and strength that we have. Thank you for you kept us ever since we met this last time on Sunday. You've watched over us all these days. God, thank you just for being God all by yourself. God, thank you that uh, uh, we have the capability, the 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 the, the opportunity to just bow our heads down and go to you in prayer. But then, God, right now, we're, 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 we're coming to you, oh God, lifting up 
every name that was called. Father, we're coming to you praying right now that you would hear every petition of every heart that needs you to move in such a mighty way in their lives. Father, we don't have all of the stories. We don't have everything that everybody needs, but God, we understand that all that matters if we have an all-knowing, almighty, all-powerful God that we can say, God, do it. Do it for us right now. Now, Father, as you go through and you listen to the names as you see the hearts of the people father we pray that you would individually bless them where they're needed if it's healing father we pray that your healing power will fall fresh upon them that they may rejoice and praise your name for the healing father if it's a if it's clarity that someone needs if their mind is is clouded and they're not having an understanding of which way to go father we pray that you give them direction order their steps so god be with them that they may be led by you to the place that you would have them to go. Father, if it's somebody who's uh, who, who's at a place of sadness, Father, let them know that joy is still available. It's still available to them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, someone's lost a loved one. Someone needs you to be the comforter that we know that you are. Father, let them know, even though they may have lost a loved one, Father, that you are there to fill that void. You are there to, to, to help them have the strength to be regained, to go on a little bit further. Father, keep them is our prayer. But then, God, someone needs you in a, in, in a way that they've been calling upon you for progression. They've been calling on you for an advancement. They've been calling on you, God, to, to have an understanding of just getting better in their lives. Father, whatever it is. We know that you are a, a God above all others. You are the one true God that we, we can't go to any, anyone else but you. And we're turning all of these things over to you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, hear us as we cry out unto you. Hear us like a voice in the wilderness, oh God. Hear us in, in, in a way, God, that even when our voices are faint and we don't have the words to say, God, give us uh, 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 inkling, an understanding, a sign, and wonders, oh God, that let us know that you are still standing by, even when the storm is raging, even when the, 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 the thunder is too loud for us to even hear ourselves, Father, let us know and feel your presence that you are always at a place to where you're there with an outstretched hand pulling us where we need to go. But then, God, there's some of us there are some others, oh God, who has a praise report. Father, there's somebody who already received a blessing from you, God. There's somebody who's already received that advancement. There's somebody who's already received that healing. There's somebody who's witnessed somebody else's healing. There's somebody who's already been restored by you, God. And right now, they're sitting and they're saying, thank you, God, for what you've done in our hearts, our minds, our souls. God, thank you, because if it had not been for you, Father, none of this would have been possible, and we all collectively have something to give a praise report about. It may have been just starting us on our way. It may have been food on the table. It may have been something, oh God, that was small and minor, but everything that we have, we understand that it comes from you, and for that, God, we say thank you. But then, Father, by hope, by prayer, by faith, by an understanding, we have the ability to shout right now for what you're going to do. We have the ability to lift up holy hands for you hearing our cry and answering us. Oh God, we have the, abil the ability to shout hallelujah right now in advance because God, we know that you're going to hear us, but not only God, are you going to hear us, Father, you're going to answer us. And for that, we say thank you, God. We lift up every name. We lift up Sister Smith. We lift up every everybody, oh God, who needs you to move in not only their lives, but Father, move in their family lives. Move in the circle that's around them. Let them be surrounded by some God-fearing folk who are there to encourage them, to let them know that all hope is not gone because all of our hope rests in you. Father, thank you for hearing us on tonight. Thank you for pouring out, just reminding us, oh God, that we can talk to you. Thank you, God. We, we bless your name in such a mighty way, oh God, that once we say amen, 
We're going to lift. We're going to rise from wherever we're sitting. We're going to lift up our head and we're going to feel lighter because all of the heavy load and burdens that we've been holding on to for ourselves, Father, let us be able to totally release it and give it to you. For in your hands, it's already done. It's already fixed. It's already worked out. And we thank you for hearing us. Thank you for the opportunity. Now, God, bless us and have thine own way in our hearts, our minds, our lives like only you can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Listen to all of you who sent your prayer requests in. We understand God. Understand this. God is in control. God is in control which means you're not in control. God is in control. God orders our steps. God plans our paths. God leads us where he wants us to go. You just have to be willing to follow. You just have to be willing to accept the fact that wherever God leads me, I'm willing to follow. I you I get it. You may fuss, kick, shout, <laughs> fuss, kick, complain, and, and everything else along the way. But whatever, regardless of what it is, trust God. He won't lead you where you don't want to go. He won't lead you astray. Follow him. Talk to him. Have a little talk with him. More and more. And watch God bless you and take you to new and higher heights. Not only pray for yourself, pray for somebody else. Pray for this world. Pray for this nation because this nation sure done gone crazy. But God is in control. That's what I have for us tonight. I just want to come on and pray, get the prayer request. I'll continue to pray for each of you. Uh, it won't stop here for me uh, just on tonight, but I, I pray continuously that God moves upon every heart, every mind, and every soul that, uh, that I come into contact with. So y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, Sunday is coming. I can't wait to Sunday. Uh, Sunday's a grand time, but I'm looking forward to seeing all of y'all for Sunday service. Uh, so be there fellowship with us on one accord uh, and I look forward to seeing y'all then. Have a great rest of your week. Feel the presence of God. Continue to talk to him and watch you be blessed. Peace. Have a great night.